Uh, mm -hmm. Still on space, NASA's moon missions are back. Rocket Labs just successfully launched their new Capstone spacecraft. The satellite features, uh, it's got a satellite on it as well. That rocket, by the way, features um, a 3D printed engine. Uh, this thing will, the project will explore never before flown orbits around the moon. Look who's back, please. Michio Kaku is with us. He's our space guy. Michio, what's so special about that rocket and the mission? Well, you know, space travel has been haunted by a dirty four letter word cost, C O S T. <laughs> It costs $10,000 to put a pound of anything into orbit around the Earth. That's your weight in solid gold. That's the cause of space travel. And now we're talking about rockets that are printed entirely with a 3D printer. Just like the printer you have on your desk, you can now print rocket parts to drop the cost by a factor of 10, Whoa. to drop the number of parts by a factor of 100. This could be a game changer. We could be witnessing a new era in spaceflight when booster rockets are reusable and printed on a 3D printer. And Amazing. It's, pri it's private enterprise, as opposed to a government department, that's getting the cost of that engine and, and the printed parts down, right? This is private enterprise con contribution to space. But I, I got to know, when are we going to put people back on the moon? Well, uh, NASA is already getting the SLS booster rocket ready for a test run to orbit around the moon. And then shortly after that, we're going to put a woman and a person of color, again, orbiting around the moon. And after that, they're going to actually land on the moon. So watch for it. In the coming years, practically every year, there's going to be a new milestone with regards to going back to the moon. Why? In fact, I think that, yeah. The, 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 but there's very little coverage of this. I didn't know about this, this uh, back to the moon and the sequence of events. I didn't know. Uh, it, nobody's covering it. Has, it, has space travel lost, uh, lost um, the, uh, the public's attention? Well, in some sense, yes, because at the height of the Cold War, it was us versus the communists, right? It was the height of the Cold War. Everyone thought it was their patriotic duty to be part of the race to the moon. Now the wind has gone out of the sail. Now we're talking about science. We're talking about being able to perhaps save the human race in case an asteroid hits the Earth or, or global warming gets out of control. Basically, an insurance policy for the human race to explore the planet Mars and beyond. Remember, the dinosaurs did not have a space program. And that's why there are no dinosaurs on this program today to argue the case for space travel. <laughs> one last one. Uh, we just get, get the story about um, space tourism. Uh, hurting the environment because a rocket launch involves so much carbon being pumped out into the air. Uh, it, there's no solution to that, is there? We're not anywhere near a, an electric rocket, are we? Uh, no, but however, we are looking at different kinds of fuels in order to reduce the carbon footprint of these rockets. So it is something that's being looked at. Right now, there's no immediate solution on the horizon, but people are scratching their heads and realizing, yes, we have to preserve the planet as we explore outer space. Uh, just one last one, real fast. That capstone rocket, it was launched successfully, and the satellite that it's putting in orbit is doing okay. Is that correct? That's right. And next month, next month will be the first genuine two-stage rocket that is entirely 3D printed to be launched by Relativity Space into, into orbit. And so we're talking about a new era a new chapter in the history of space exploration when costs, costs are going to drop because rockets are reusable and 3D printed. That's fascinating. Great stuff. Michio Kaku, thank you very much for being here. Come back again right when we've got the next launch, okay? I'd love to see you again. Thanks a lot. Mm -hmm.